Rockdale County, established in 1870, has witnessed the progress and contributions of African Americans over many decades. Larger than life figures are often the focus of discussions of black history. But let us not forget just a decade and a half ago, Rockdale County itself made history, starring our very own citizens. It elected its inaugural African American officials in county offices, a momentous occasion that paved the way, sharing their remarkable stories and enduring impact they've made in shaping the political landscape of Rockdale County. Welcome to the historic slate of eight, Black History Made in Rockdale. The summer of 2008, uh, I was asked to consider running for post one uh, commissioner here in Rockdale County. At that time, there had never been any African Americans serving in county government in the history of Rockdale County. The county was still majority Republican. My opponent was a Republican and um, I think she represented sort of the uh, status quo. I, as a Democrat, represented change. And change was in play, and I did the research, studied the data, and we saw it was a possibility. And I think that there were Republicans and Democrats who, at that point in the history of Rockdale County, wanted change. And what I needed was uh, a team to work with me. And therein I, I was introduced to Oz Nesbitt and I knew Ruth Wilson. I grew up feeling that politics was not for me. I had been asked before to run for school board. I had been asked to run for other positions. And I just always said, no, that's not for me. I was working to make the Rockdale County Democratic Party the best it could be, honestly. I was supporting uh, getting Richard to run, supporting getting Oz to run, and yet we had this other seat. And, but we didn't have a candidate, this position called Clerk of Courts. And I saw that it is behind the scenes, it's non-controversial. I looked at the work and I thought, that's work I can do. So I threw my hat in the ring at the, the last possible minute. And we decided to, uh, took us hours to get this thing together and we decided to run. During that time, uh, it was a, a major transition going on in the, across the whole country. And of course that included Rockdale County. It was a part of the synergy of President Obama being elected as the first African-American to the White House that really gave all African-American uh, candidates uh, here in Rockdale County, and I believe across the country, a big boost that we had at the top of the ticket, Barack Obama. That run for Odin, Nesbitt, and Wilson would turn out to be successful, thus becoming pioneers in Rockdale County as the first African-Americans in their elected roles of chairman post one commissioner and clerk of superior and state courts. But no change happens without its fair share of challenges. There was a lot of diversity in office. And a lot of diversity in office was internal from other elected officials because they felt that I was too progressive, too aggressive, and too visionary. There were multiple instances of people coming to jury service and seeing me for the first time and just being shocked, amazed, and in some cases delighted to see that I was there. And uh, more than once a person would say, oh, you took Joanne's job. Yes, I did. Joanne retired and I'm here. But within the heart of adversity lies the seed of triumph. We just knew that Rockdale's demographics was changing quickly. And we knew that people were tired of, I hate to say the good old boy system. 
and we wanted to be in control of our own community. Of course, there was the three of us, and we had already completed a successful four-year term in our offices as the first African Americans here in Rockdale County. And, you know, we have a lot of leaders in our community, but there were some that were approached and took the baton and ran with it. Um, Oz and Richard and Ruth spoke to the others and said, you know, come on, come on this, on this ride with us and let's make it successful. So in 2012, several people, local African-Americans, decided to throw their name, toss their names in the hat for these various offices in Rockdale County. With the help and leadership of the one and only Miss Deborah Anderson, she was able to bring us all together. After the first term of the Pioneer Three, Rockdale County was looking for further change. And those who once believed running for office was out of their reach began believing and would find themselves at the center of a major plan. In the next episode of the historic Slate of Eight, Black History Made in Rockdale, we will meet the Slate of Eight and hear their stories on the road to victory.